Hello fellow hobbyists, welcome back to the bench and today we're going to go over the Despay metallic lineup from their uh, lacquer paint lineup. I've gone through most of their uh, paints, the regular opaques and some of the regular metallics. I went through uh, their color shifts and um, their clears which turned out to be pretty pretty good and um, I saved these for last. These are their metal colors. By that I mean uh, this is kind of their uh, they're all clad or their uh, liquid metal uh, lineup from uh, Vallejo. Uh, this is uh, AK Extremes, Extreme Metal. So this is, uh, I think this is their take on these. Um, not as dedicated as these. These seem more uh, just like a straight up paint in metallic colors. But they do, they do have pretty good results. Early testing has proven to me. Um, there's two types of paint here. There's the standard ones here, and then there's these specialty colors up here. And what these are, are their chrome. Chrome silver, EP1, super silver, uh, SPM1, and this is their horrendous labeling. This says super black, let me see if I can get the lettering, SPM2. This is their black base. I already sprayed some. And that's it. It's your basic glossy black base for these two. Um, you could probably paint any of these over these, but this was made for this, for these two colors. The others I found uh, uh, little differences over uh, matte or gloss bases. Uh, I'm going to be using a few of these spoons sprayed in a matte black primer. This is a Titans primer. These are out of Italy. Here it is, made in Italy. And they're distributed by Ammo in America. And uh, I like these primers. I think they're really good. And uh, I found they work good with these. Um, I've been having trouble with a bunch of spoons lately. I don't know what's going on with the spoons, but I found even acrylics being affected by whatever's in these uh, spoons. So uh, I've been having to put some uh, primers over the spoons. And even some of the primers are reacting to the spoons. I don't have enough Gumpla kits to... Uh, to pull apart and use them as a test but what I did do was I went out and got this plastic I'll show you what I got here this is from Evergreen scale models they do all kinds of stuff for uh, dioramas mostly model railroading is how they got their start but uh, I went to see my buddy around the corner here at AA Hobbies and um, I knew he would have this and I asked for black plastic and here it is now what I did was I cut them in some strips so uh, I've tested some of these already and the rest we're gonna put on these strips some are on spoons some will be on the strips so we'll, we'll see the difference on all of them and uh, we've gone ahead and already primed everything so we can skip that in the video this is a very thick black paint you can probably look at that you could probably uh, triple the size of this with the thinning involved um, a 70 30 70 thinner 30 paint I would do so you're gonna triple this if that's how thick this really is but it does lay down really nice and we'll just use a few of those for the chrome and for the super silver now uh, these mix up really quickly uh, I've, I've put them in my shaker already but you can see right there see it it's already thinned up and loose you can see it right in the bottom of the jar so they thin up really nice have a really fine uh, pigment to them this is the, which one is this, super silver? Yeah, this is like a super shiny silver. I believe this is their version of a chrome. It looks a little dark to me. Um, this looks more like a black chrome. So, and um, early test, before I started this video, uh, this has to go on light, even lighter than all clad. And um, I'll show you in the test. And for these, I'm gonna use my Hotter and Steinbeck um, 0.2 uh, millimeter needle and then the rest I think we will use my uh, newly acquired Grex this is a 0.3 and um, we use that for the other ones now uh, I've sprayed some already and I'll do some off camera so we're only gonna pick a few of these out uh, maybe three or four plus I'll do these for sure so we'll have a few on camera but I will have all of them sprayed so you get to see the results of all of them now let's go over the rest of the colors SM1 stainless steel 
SM2, Champagne Gold. SM3, Champagne Silver. This is pretty unique. You see it? Oh, hard to see. Oh, there you go. You get certain angles to see it. You can see I haven't really shaken these up yet. And you can already see how thin they are and loose and ready to go. These don't need thinning, by the way. We're going to go straight from the jar to the airbrush cup. Uh, titanium Gold. That's SM4. SM5, Rose Gold. Good looking color. You can see where it needs to be shaken a little bit right there. Turquoise Gold, SM6. SM7, Bronze. That's good looking. SM8, Dark Steel. Now, this what, these are the labels they should have used. You see this white? I don't know how they, they produced this one. And then they produce this one. They know it's a dark label. It's a dark bottle. And they put the white. But this is a black. It's, it's black. And they don't, put, they don't put a white label on it. I can barely see this. And I'm, I, got my, I got magnified glasses on now under this light. I have a nice light here. And I still can't read that. So quality control there. Uh, get on it here and fix that. Anyway, SM8 Dark Steel. That's a really good looking metal color right there. Black Iron. This has got to be great looking. I love these dark metal colors, the graphites and whatnot. This is SM9, and the last one to line up, SM10, is white aluminum. Look at that. That's got a shine to it. Looks like the other ones. Yeah, it looks pretty close to the Super Silver. We'll compare them. And that's it. Like I said, don't have to be thinned. Straight out of the jar into the airbrush. However, let's shake them up, and let's see how quickly they shake up. Let me pause the camera and get my shaker. All right, we're back, and magically, the 4E's mixer appears. Uh, which one looked a little... All right, this, as you can see, it's a little separated there. So let's do a little bit from the bottom. I like to flip it over. And there it is. Look at that. Thoroughly mixed. You can see it right there. So a quick shake. And you should be good to go. You could put a ball bearing in there too, but these shake so easily. I would save your ball bearings for a more heavier pigment for sure. Look at that. Now you can really see the color. So uh, let's try that. Whoa, right off. We're launching. This one looks a little thicker. No, it's the same. That is bright. So anyway. Let me shake these up. I'll pick a few of them out. We'll head over to the booth. We'll put some on the spoons. We'll put some on these plastic strips. And we'll come back and look at every single result. We'll see you at the booth. All right, guys. First up is my holder out of the way. Uh, we're going to do chrome silver EP1 over there, gloss black. Howard uh, Steinbeck Evolution. This is a 0.2 needle nozzle. I got it on about 18 PSI. We got to go very lightly here, very lightly. And I think this is what they were trying to achieve. Now, I've tried putting it on heavy, and I'm going to show you heavy in a second. But believe it or not, this is it. It doesn't have that natural shine that the all clads and whatnot have. You know, well, let me show you when you put it on a little heavy. Now, I've tried buffing it too. But... I mean, a massive, massive difference, you know. But uh, let's try it over one of these plastic plates. Yeah, looks just like silver there. Let's try it on that inside, which is a little more shinier. All right, let's go really light.
let me tell you, this, it's tough to go this lightly. Well, this would be a good way to see it both ways up. So, anyway, that's the chrome. Let me put in the uh, Super Silver next, and we'll see what that looks like. I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I wanted to show you something before I went on to the next color, which was Super Silver. Trying to get the focus on it. There we go. It's really thick, and this is the only one that's thick. So I figured I want to show you guys beforehand. Look at this. All the other ones are like water. This is not. This is, this is more, a little thicker than milk, like chocolate milk or something. So uh, I'm going to go thin this around 50-50. This is the only one so far that needs to be thin. So I wanted to let you guys know that before uh, I went forward with the next color, which is this one. Let me go thin this and I'll be right back. All right, guys, let me show you the consistency before I uh, pour it in. See how much thinner that is? That's what we're looking for. So straight up in. And let's do it. Again, over the gloss spoon first. This is much different from the chrome. I mean, this is this looks like to be a regular silver paint. Hence, that's why it was so much thicker. It's probably very good for uh, candies. Yeah, it's got a really cool look to it. Hold on one second. I'm going to turn up the air pressure. Yeah, this needed a little bit of a jolt, I would say. This one more than likely could have gone through the uh, bigger airbrush. This is uh, more in line with a regular consistency lacquer. However, I'm getting really good results though. So, there's that. Not bad. It's drying nice and smooth. The camera's a little wacky here. I'll. Uh, show you the bench it'll come out much clearer I imagine all right let's see if we can try it over something different uh, let's try it over just a gray yeah it's almost like a pearl silver all right all right guys not bad uh, it's different but We'll check it out under the better lights at the bench. Let me clean this out, put in another color, and we'll check them out. All right, guys, switch the guns to the Grex. We're going with uh, Champagne Gold SM2. I didn't thin it. As this one, you can tell, is thin just by doing this trick. You can see it jiggling on the bottom, whereas I noticed it wasn't doing that with the silver. Let's go with the plastic strips here. And make sure it's dust free. Let's see what we get. Now, this you can load up because it's not the same, it just isn't the same as the other chrome paint. And it's, it's on there. Wow, that, that cover is really, really nice. Wow, that looks great. Uh, what else can I try it on? Let's try it on uh, the flat primer and see what if we get a difference here. No, not really. Really nice though. It covers nice. I do like it. Yeah, all right. I don't think it's going to be any different, but let's try it over a gray primer. This is 
Let's see. To me, a surface primer gray. Yeah, not much of a difference, but we'll go over to... Oh, it's a little bit... I can see a difference here. We'll go over it over the regular lights when we're done. Let me grab another color, clean this out. I'll be right back. All right, next up is Rose Gold SM5. All right, let's do it again on the plastic strip. I'm blowing it off for us with just air. I noticed one thing with this bay is when you paint it, it looks rough, but it dries absolutely flawless. But uh, we'll let this dry. It's a really good looking color. Really nice looking. All right, to go with the other one, let's put it over this matte uh, Titans flat black primer. It's a regular lacquer because I try to go light like the all clad types and you really get a spotty finish, rough. So it does have to go on as if I'm painting a car. Really good looking color though. Wow. Alright guys, let me grab another one and then after that we'll go over all of them. Let me clean out the gun. I'll be right back. Alright guys, there's something else I noticed. Um, this black iron, which I'm about to test, SM9, was really thick, like uh, the silver. Not as thick, but it's in that thick consistency. So I thinned it down like this. I went about 50-50, 60-40, uh, 60 thinner to 40 paint before I uh, put it in the brush. I'm not sure why, but some of the colors are a little different. But most of them did not require to be thinned. All right, let's go ahead and test it with a, uh, the black plastic. Now, this is black iron. I don't know how dark this is, but let's see. Oh, it's got a oh, beautiful, beautiful look to it. Ah, oh, right up my alley. This is a great color. Can you see it there? I'll show you at the bench. It'll be in better lighting. Really nice. Oh, that's great. All right, let's try it on some different colors. Let's go over the matte black. This is a great color. I don't know how it's going to go over the gloss. Let's see. Let's try it. Uh, almost the same. Didn't really seem to affect it that much at all. Let's try it over some primer. This is the same Tamiya primer. At least with here, guys, you can see it going on. Terrific color, though. It's a terrific color. Wow, that's awesome. Looks like it might dry dull. It's starting to dry here. Um, these lacquers dry really quick, so by the time I reach the bench and get everything set up for the reveal, these will all be dry. Anyway, uh, I sprayed all the other ones, so uh, hit me back at the bench, and I'll show you every single color and the results. Right guys, here we are back at the bench, and uh, I'll show you the ones that I just airbrushed, and then I'll show you the ones I did off camera. And uh, we'll start with the chrome. This had the uh, their super black base, that gloss black I showed you, and that's it very lightly. Uh, not quite chrome. You know, it's, pr it's pretty durable, but uh, here it is with a heavier coat. And I think... 
when they're going with chrome, I think what they're saying is there's no, you're not going to see any flakes in it at all. It's my guess. It looks nothing like this. I've tried it several ways. Here it is over the gloss black plastic of the plate. It's hard to see. This is very light. And that's a decent coat. That's a couple of coats you saw me put it on. So, not the best chrome in the world. I am uh, not very happy with it. All right. And the other one in the lineup that goes with the super black is super silver. That's over the shiny black. Almost like the chrome. Let's see. No, it's a different tone to it, but it's close. This is more like a black chrome. I can see it now that I look at it against this. This looks more like a gray base for a, a candy coat. And this is it over white. This was it over the plate. Very nice. Not too bad. I still like Mr. Color Silver better, but this isn't bad. Price is right. It's a good size bottle. And this one actually is the one that needed... I think this is the one that needed thinning. It is. So you're going to really double the bottle there. All right. Let's get that out of the way. All right. Now into the colors. This is SM2 Champagne Gold. Over the black plastic, straight up black plastic, very nice gold. This, this is a really nice color. That's it over the, let's see what this spoon had on it. Black, this had the gloss black on No, this had the matte black Titans primer right there. And this was the gray primer. So there's all three. A very, very nice gold. No complaints here. And I've already tested all of the uh, displays. They're really durable. So, you've seen that in my other test. The durability is there. That's a great gold right there. All right, what do we have here? Rose gold, SM5. Super good looking color. Looks like one of my anodized colors for my kit. Not quite that aluminum look, but you know what? It's a nice color. This is over the uh, Titans Black. So that's over the primer. Seems to have a little bit more of a shine on the primer. It's hard to see in the light with, because it reflects right to a mirror. There you go. Really nice color. I like that color. All right, then we go to Black Iron, SM9. All right, over the uh, black plastic. You can see the black plastic there and the difference fade here. Really nice. This looks like the graphite kind of color. I'm working. I'm a little bit lighter for the color for my lineup that's coming out. I do like these graphite colors, but you can see here, it's just black plastic, and you can see the dividing line right here. Look at that. That's a great color. This is it over the Titans primer. Black primer. A little bit different, a little more body to it. This is over gray primer. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. That's over the shiny black. Let's see. And dull black. That's a little different. A little t there's a little tighter look to it. If you know what I'm trying to say. Like you can't see the flakes as much. And then I want to show you guys this. This is over the spoons I've been getting. Look at how horrendously. You see it's, it's getting sucked into the spoon. And I've ordered spoons from different people. The spoons I used for the last two years. I've used uh, an Amazon spoon. I, I bought ones at Target. I'm all over. And I'm getting this result all of a sudden. So I think uh, an ingredient has changed, so to speak, uh, across the board. Until I get one that works proper, I have to put primer on everything. Uh, not so much so on the Gumpla kits. It seems to take to the plastic. And this is good plastic cut right out. You saw me. It came out of the package. And th this, you know, same thing. I'm just spraying over plastic. So something's going on with the spoons. I think something's going on with the spoons. All right, guys, let me pause the camera and get the rest of the colors. All right, guys, let's go in with the rest here. SM1 stainless steel. Here it is over a plate. Very nice. I do like this. It's hard to really get a read on it, but it's a really super smooth. This is over the Black Titans primer. Look at this. I do like this. This is a really nice. This would also work with candy really well. I, I do like this color. SM1, stainless steel. 
All right. SM3 Champagne Silver. Uh, a really nice gold. I mean, it's called silver, but champagne gives it that hue. I, I do like this a lot. This is over, I think, a gray primer. It's over a gray primer. It's almost the same. It dulls it a little bit. This is over a uh, shiny black. So, two in a row. I like both of those. Third, Titanium Gold SM4. Yep, Titanium Gold SM4. Look at that. It's another nice color. Now, look at this. This is over a Gumpla piece. I tried one over a piece. And look at how nice it came out. I mean, it looks like the plastic was molded in this color. Isn't that nice? Bronze SM7. Look at that. I mean, another really good looking color, a really nice bronze. It matches the paint perfectly as it comes out of the airbrush. SM6 turquoise gold. That matches perfectly too. Another nice gold. Now, these are all kind of close, so you probably don't have to collect them all like I do, but uh, it, it, a really nice, really nice color. I mean, if they're out of stock on one, then. Uh, this one should uh, suit you just fine, or vice versa. Look at that. Uh, Dark Steel is in here. We'll do that last because there's so many different ones I tested. This is SM10 White Aluminum. Aluminum. I'll get it right. Look at that. That's a that's a nice. It's not on the level of uh, all clad, but it's not bad. Particularly at three, four bucks a bottle, it, it, it it's not bad at all. Again, this would also make a great undercoating for candy and dark steel is all of these I tested it on several bases this is it over the Titans again it looks close to the uh, the black when we did the black iron let me get one to compare it that's a little darker dark steel is actually darker than the Black iron. This is black iron. Very nice. This is it over gray. I think this is over black. This is a pure black spoon. One of the last spoons I got that worked that didn't haze up like all the new ones do. But it's very close in color. Here it is over a gloss black. Changes it a little bit, but not much. And I want to try it over a different colored primer altogether. This is Tamiya's red oxide primer. That's it. And this is it over that. I like it. I think it came out really good over this primer. Let's compare it to a shinier piece. So, a little more realistic in the dull. And that's over this primer. And that's it. That is all the colors uh, in the entire metal lineup of uh, Dispay. And... Um, I like them. They're pretty. They're pretty good. Most of them are thinned and ready to go out of the jar. You can tell uh, by how thin they are through the jar. You can see them shaking right there. Uh, obviously, this dark steel, the black, this black iron, and the, I think the super silver was really thick. But I think those are the only three that I had to thin. So uh, I used their thinner, um, made for airbrushing. I, I do like their thinner, and it's cheap, and it's a big bottle. Um, I think it's not quite an authentic thinner that you would get, say, at uh, the hardware store, like a pure lack of thinner. Um, it's a hybrid piece. Bezine, is it? Bezine free, but I think a lot of stuff is bezine free now anyway, the chemical. Anyway, that's it. I sprayed the, uh, the metal colors, the chrome, through the smaller needle of the Hotter and Stainback, and the rest you saw we did on the uh, new Grex airbrush, which is a .3, and uh, sprayed really well. I was impressed uh, with both the paint and the airbrush. Um, I'll put links below to all this. Uh, my buddy at uh, uh, Gundam Pros, Walter, should have most of the colors. I'll put a link for another retailer if he doesn't have them. Um, I think I'll have a coupon code for you guys, too, I think. I'm going to find out. And um, if so, make sure you use it. And I'll put it right next to the link if there is a code. And uh, that's it. Uh, I do like the paint. Um, they go on nice, they dry nice, they're durable. Uh, no complaints. I have no complaints about them at all. And um, that's it. That's it, guys. Like the video, please. It helps a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. 
Uh, I have a lot more tests to go. Uh, I got an air, two more airbrush tests coming up. I'm waiting for uh, another airbrush to come in so I can give one away. Um, I got two airbrush giveaways coming up. I'm waiting for them to come in the mail so I can uh, do the test and then give one away. And then I got these meals in the back. I'm working on those now. And uh, I got a whole new lineup of paints coming out for my Mecca Empire, which uh, hopefully will stop flowing here and within a week or so. I'll let you guys know. And I'm pretty excited about them. A big, wide variety of colors. And um, I'm excited to show you guys that, too. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you probably within a week. And uh, have a great weekend.